Senator Marsha Blackburn, Republican from Tennessee, joins us now. Now, Senator, why doesn't the president answer questions on any of these ongoing crises? It is astounding that he is not touching any of these crises, and they're all of his making. Whether it's the crisis at the cash register or the gas pump or the labor shortage, what is happening in the Middle East, the cyber attacks, all of this is of Joe Biden's making because he is perceived as a weak leader. And they feel like this is the time to test him because the appearance, and you know, Stuart, perception is reality. And to our adversaries, the perception is this is a weak president who is not in control of the decisions his administration is making. So therefore, if you've got a cabal behind the curtain that is running the show, let's test them and see what kind of response we're going to get. And of course, they is, know is, is, John Kerry is all for Iran. Of course. Is, is the Republican Party strong enough? Is it united enough? to roll back some of the things which President Biden is doing, which are clearly hurting the country. We certainly are. And you can look at the work that we are doing in the Senate uh, as we have looked at this so-called infrastructure bill. What have we done? We've turned the attention to what is really infrastructure and putting the attention there. We had a piece of legislation we were working on yesterday that deals with technology. We've pushed forward on cyber to remind them we have had proposals that would deal with these issues. And I've had legislation that would allow the National Guard to be a rapid remote response to come around our critical infrastructure and our federal and state agencies when there is a cyber attack. These are things that would be prudent for us to do, steps that we should take. And the Biden administration is not doing it. Therefore, you have this crisis and chaos that is of their making. Well, the president speaks at 12 noon Eastern today. We shall see if he will address the crises which are hurting our country. Madam yes, Senator, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Always appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs>